good morning my beautiful people and welcome back to another video today or welcome if you are new here i am in kota Baru, which is a city here in kalatan state of malaysia and this area is really known for nasi karabu which i'm really excited but something makes this dish really 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 special and it's early in the morning we're gonna go over there have some breakfast and uh see how this tastes i'm ready to have some an authentic breakfast here in kota Baru, and i'm super excited i can't wait I see the food coming now. All right, so we're here at Nasi, nasi Karabu Panji, and I have some Nasi Karabu here. This is um, ayam for chick, and it's basically like some sort of coconut curry with chicken. Um, we have some kambin, which is goat, and I'm gonna try this first, because he said it was really good, so I'm gonna try it out. Let's see what this tastes like. I'll try a piece. I think it's like um, camping bakar. Yeah, I bit that and it was like very soft. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna try this now. The, the unique thing is that the rice is blue <laughs> and that comes from like the butter pea flour. So, okay, so we just ended up getting some, I think it, what is this called? Just... Um, can't go in, okay. So we ended up getting some fried fish here which just came and then I think she said that this was like maybe some sort of um, like seaweed or something I've never had this before um, I think that you probably put it on top of here I'm not sure <laughs> but I'm gonna try this first I'm gonna try this um, try mixing everything together wait oh there's lime so most people tell me like when they serve you lime you're supposed to squeeze it on top so I'm gonna do that Okay. Now I'm just mixing everything up in there. Let's see. Mm. The lime, the lime just gives it like that, that nice citrusy flavor to it. Oh, this is really good. I've eaten so many really good things here. I can't even pick what my favorite is anymore. Let's try this chicken though. Look at that sauce. That sauce looks so good and creamy and rich. Mm. Mm. It has like a sweet taste to it. It's very creamy. I think I'm going to add some of the sauce, more of the sauce, onto the rice. Mm -hmm. That makes a difference. That makes a huge difference. And then I think, what is this? This is, um, I think it's like a pepper. I don't know if this is, I think this might be like some sort of like coconut with a fish from what I was reading before. Um, take a bite of it, I guess. <laughs> Put some more lime on here. Then we got the salted egg here. I'm gonna take a little bit of that. like when you have the salted egg in it the flavor just tastes so much better with the lime so you have the citrus from the lime you have the salty saltiness from the egg the coolness from all the salad on top of the rice and then you have like some sort of a uh, fish cracker I don't know this is up there on my favorite <laughs> I like it Okay, I don't know if I'm supposed to just like take this and put it on top and then just mix it in together and then eat it like that. Maybe that's too much. <laughs> like this. And then. Mmm. 
don't know. That adds like a different flavor to it. I feel like the more I add, the better the flavor gets. <laughs> this fish. I, I don't know. I don't know how to do this. Oh, this is really high. It's the crunchiness from the fish. When you put it on there. Mm -hmm. Even the... Looks like, um, what are they called? Um, panko crumbs or whatever crumbs they are called. It's pretty sweet. So many flavors into one. What is this? I think this is a spring onion. But I've never seen this before. <laughs> well, I mean, like, I've never seen like a bulb like this. I've never eaten a bulb like this with my food. The sauce on the chicken is so good, though. Oh, that's where the spiciness comes from. It comes from this. It could be the it could be the lime. Maybe it's the mix of the seaweed and the lime. That's very citrusy. It tastes so good. Like you need this on top, and then the seaweed as well. We're supposed to be trying two of these, but I don't know. I feel like I'm full already. I didn't think this would be such a big meal, but it's like very like very filling, and I I didn't even touch the fish yet. He always eats everything from me. I like I have one little piece of the, the goat. I turn back, it's gone. So some people always ask me like, do I eat all of the food that I eat in one day? He eats all the food, so that's why I continue to eat throughout the day. <laughs> mm, yeah, that's fish. I can taste fish and coconut. That tastes delicious. Put it here. Oh my gosh. I can definitely taste the coconut in the Snap and Deep. <laughs> like, I honestly thought after this I'd be able to jump into round two, but I'm gonna need a break. I am really full. So you have so many different flavors in one dish. You have salty, sweet, sour, spicy. Amazing. This is like a perfect breakfast that we've had since we've been here. Like how insane is this that you can have so many flavors in one dish? All right, so we were supposed to go to the second restaurant and try the nasi caribou there as well, but I don't think I'm gonna be doing that. I'm too full. We're finished. We're gonna take a break. I need to digest this food. It's actually more than what I thought it would be. All right, I'm gonna go wash my hands. All right, so it's lunchtime, and now we're back out, and we're here at this other nasi caribou restaurant, which is a really popular one here, and. We have this one with some dagi. So this looks so good. We only got one this time to share because I can't eat another one. That's too much rice for me in one day. Mm. What the beef? Mm, it's like sweet. It's grilled. The meat is so tender. Very flavorful. So now this one's a little bit it has more like this like red sauce on it so I'm assuming this one's gonna be like maybe a little bit more spicier and we didn't get the pepper this time did you not order pe the pepper on purpose or? I just ordered and did, uh... oh. okay so this one didn't come with the pepper I don't know if you have to ask for the pepper or if they usually just come with the pepper or not but and the other one we had like the pepper and it was like filled with the coconut and the fish in it um, 
and then a side of the seaweed. So this one isn't. This is actually a little different. This has like some sort of um, it looks like some sort of just coconut flakes on it. <laughs> so I don't know. Let's see. Let's do the taste test. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that's like shredded coconut or something. Mm. I like how each one has their different unique flavors to it. When in Kota Baru, what do you call? Mm -hmm. oh, that's definitely like coconut flakes. Yeah. mix everything together and I really enjoy this coconut flavor that it has I can't say that I like one better than the other because so they're both really really good And it's like different types but this one has like more sauce on it so. this has like some chilies in there like coconut flakes on top of it I didn't I didn't see like the coconut flakes on top of the other one but then like I said the pepper had like the fish and the coconut in it so I don't know if that's why but both of them are just so good but this one I really like that coconut flavor on it right it makes it nice with the spiciness the chilies in there on that sauce after this I'm not eating rice for a while though I say that now I'm so happy. I'm so satisfied. My mouth is excited. <laughs> it's doing backflips. So many flavors coming together at once. Like, it's just insane. This is so insane. Like, you wake up in the morning and this is the first thing you eat in the morning. This really makes your day. <laughs> That's it. I'm finished. They have. They always have so many like sweet salt that are sold, and there's so many of them, and I never know which one to pick up. Like that's the thing. You have so many, and it looks so good. Oh, photo. Okay. Huh? Oh, photo. Okay. <laughs> so everyone here is super nice. The food is delicious. We like it. Sit up. Definitely. Indeed. Um. You should definitely come check this place out if you're in Kota Baru because as I said before like there's so many different varieties of nasi caribou that you could have so this is just one of them there's plenty of others um, at some point we'll probably try some more but for now we're full so if you're in Malaysia you should definitely come take a trip to Kelantan State if you want to try nasi caribou try it within like an authentic local area I think it's a better experience the taste is just different you can also have it in like a tarragonu as well so um, definitely come check out Kotaburu I love it here so I was supposed to check out the city Khadija market over here since it's right across the street from our hotel but we ended up going back out too late and it seems to be like a lot of shops are closing so I ended up picking up just some fruits I was hoping to get some sort of like snack some sweets or something like that but I don't know maybe we could check it out tomorrow so yeah if you guys like this video make sure you like it make sure you share and of course subscribe and I will see you in the next video bye